It is the Nissan Skyline GTS R R31 for the 1987 model year from Hasegawa Hobby Kids, and it is today's What's in the Box look. Hey guys, welcome to another What's in the Box look. And today we are looking at the stock version, the street version of the, the Nissan Skyline GTS R R31 for the 1987 model year from Hasegawa Hobby Kits, as you recall, Hasegawa did two versions of this kit. They did the race car version, which was released a couple months ago. It was the Calsonic R31. And this, and now the street version is here, just released a short time ago, within uh, weeks. So we're going to take a look and see all the stock goodness that the, ki that the kit contains. Let's get started. Like always, getting started with the body. And as you can see, it is molded in a nice, lovely shade of dark blue. So realistically, one of the main things that's going to be the same between both kits will be the body. And now the rest of the body parts tree. And for the most part, this is going to be the identical to the parts tree out of the race car kit. The only difference is the trunk lid. The deck lid is solid, doesn't have any holes in it. Everything else is going to be, all these other parts are pretty much going to be the same. And moving right along now to the parts tree, the parts trees. And you can see this time these, these parts are going to be molded in a gray, better than blue, I guess. This parts tree is going to be pretty much identical. This is identical to the race car version as well. And move right along to the interior parts tree. And again, this is going to be another parts tree that is going to be identical in the race car version kit. Oh. And now this parts tree is going to be for this kit. It's going to be contains the stock parts. So up here we have the there's the stock dashboard. Along with the stock exhaust system and the center console piece and whatever piece that is and then down here uh, the front suspension member that is going to be we'll be using this piece instead of the piece on the suspension or the chassis parts tree as well as some interior bits and some piping there and of course the rear seat now we have the parts tree that contains the wheels and the front seat. So let's look at the wheels first. And the driver's seat, or excuse me, the front seats. So the same for this one as well. And here we go with one of the last uh, stock parts tree. Obviously, you can see it has the stock fuel tank, skid plate, the brake rotors, and a choice of stock steering wheels. And the clear parts tree there. Again, this is going to be pretty much the same as it is on the race car version. And the clear parts tree there. Again, this is going to be pretty much the same as it is on the race car version. And now the tires. Nothing special about them, just generic blank sidewall tires. And wrapping this up now, take a look at the final few things we need to look at. Up first is the decal sheet. Uh, not as much, not as full as the Calsonic R31 decal sheet. There's still a good amount of decals on here. A correction for the uh, how the instruction sheet tells you to tell you to drill some holes for the license plate frame basically our backing piece and the window masking now it's kind of hard to see them but they are there and the wheel masks are also there for the race car version which are not used in this kit obviously so there you have it folks that is the 
stock version of the R31 Nissan Skyline GTSR, the 1987 or 1987 model here. With that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.